Hey guys, this is David. I've had a few folks ask me about um, prospecting and any available tools that might help you to prospect advertisers for retargeting. And one of those tools is something called Ghostery. Now, Ghostery is independent of us. Uh, we, don't, we don't have anything to do with them, but uh, we have discovered this to be a valuable tool. So I just wanted to introduce it to you. This is a quick tutorial. Basically, Ghostery is a plugin that you can add to your browser so that you can see if an advertiser has tags or cookies or any kind of tracking on their website. It's, it's great to find out if they're digital, digitally savvy or if they are currently doing anything else. So go to Ghostery, uh, read up on them before you install it, decide if that's something you want to do. But here's what it looks like if you decide you want to. Here I am at Halliday Motors in Cheyenne, and uh, this is just a random business. I don't know this business. I don't know if we're working with this business, but I picked them, and if I hit my refresh button, basically Ghostry will work, and it'll give me this pop-up bubble down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Now, what you see here is uh, really any kind of tracking tags that they have on the on the page. You see Bright Tag, you see Cobalt, you see Eye Perceptions. Trade Desk, Tube Mogul, and you may or may know what all these companies are, but if you don't, you can always click on the ghost image in your browser. And by the way, if you are on a PC, I think that's in the bottom right hand corner, but it gives you a little uh, insight into all these different tags and, and what they are. So, for example, you could click on this here, Cobalt Group. You can actually click on this tag and it will show you the tag itself as it appears on their website. Now, between you and me, this is all gibberish. Uh, I don't speak code, as you know, but it is great for identifying uh, those people who do understand code, understanding if the tag is placed, if the tag is placed property, properly, all those wonderful things. Uh, but where we can use it is we can learn a little bit more about who this is. So Cobalt Group, maybe you've never heard of Cobalt Group, and you see this, and you're like, oh, I guess Halliday is working with Cobalt Group. Maybe I can find out more about them. You click here for more information about Cobalt, and it gives you just a brief who they are, uh, direct links to their website, that kind of thing. Um, and then you can learn more about Cobalt, what they offer, so that when you go in and you go talk to this business owner, you'll be in a position of uh, intelligence, you'll be more knowledgeable, and you'll be more prepared to overcome their objections. Hope that helps.